Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, today, just a quick, dirty video on how to undervolt your RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 cards uh, manually. Uh, I know there's programs out there like Radio Radeon Profile and uh, Core Control, but uh, I kind of like to do things myself and uh, know how the inner workings work. So uh, let's get right to it here. So uh, we've got Star Citizen uh, loaded up and running, and um, we're out in the middle of space uh, just to kind of get away from everybody, make sure that I don't get blown up by any NPCs or some gankers or anything like that. But uh, out here in space in my uh, Cutlass Black here, uh, just looking up at the ceiling, only just so we can load up the GPU uh, pretty heavily here um, and max out the wattage that I've set. Uh, so we're doing about 191, 192 uh, frames per second there, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner. And if you look here, uh, you can see from AMD GPU info here that, uh, that we are bumping up against the 284 watts that uh, we've set for the limit and um, this card can go up to 293 watts on the AMD reference card and you can see the core clocks here are bouncing around uh, from 2480 to 2530 uh, somewhere in there this is a great piece of silicon I really do love this card uh, so and right now uh, we've got uh, with a fan speed set um, for an 8-bit representation, you know, when you set the fan speeds, you know, you set it to like uh, 202, which is 8-bit representation for percentage of uh, 255 being 100% and 0 being 0%, obviously. So uh, right now with 2400-ish uh, RPMs, uh, we're getting uh, on the um, die, you know, 67, 68 for the hotspot, 87, and for the mem, uh, 74. And again, uh, 284 watts, and but Look at this voltage that it's putting out. It's putting out 1162 millivolts, 1162 millivolts. And now that does get the core clocks up to like 2530, which is pretty good. Uh, so again, pretty good piece of silicon here. Now, uh, as you saw earlier, we were doing about 190 to uh, 191 and a half frames per second there, just looking up at the ceiling on that uh, Drake Cutlass Black. So uh, let's go ahead and undervolt this and uh, we'll see what happens to performance as well as temperatures and and as well as uh, the power draw. So uh, for the voltage offset, there is a file that handles that. And because uh, in Linux, everything's a file, right? That's the philosophy. So uh, in this uh, command terminal, uh, command here. It's echo voltage offset minus 35 pipe pseudo T. That means it's just throw it in there where it belongs uh, to the PPOD clock voltage. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and see what's in uh, that file first. So we're going to cat that file first and see. So uh, the important part here uh, is going to be the uh, offset for millivolts. And so you can see here uh, voltage offset zero uh, millivolts. So Let's go ahead and uh, actually set this to minus 35. Now, when you set it on this file, you actually have to then enable it with another command, which I'll show you in a second. So as soon as I hit enter on this and it sets minus uh, 35, nothing happens here until you enable it. So we're still pushing out 1150 millivolts and bumping up against the 284 uh, watt limit that I've set. And, and again, if we cat uh, the file, you can see that it has shoved the minus 35 millivolt uh, offset into the correct spot. However, it won't do it until we actually enable it. And so we're going to do that with another command. And it's just uh, this one right here, this uh, echo C. Uh, let's see. I copied a little bit too much on the... Uh, command there but here we go echo c and then pipe pseudo t uh, to the same file so uh now as you take a look we're no longer bumping up against the 284 watts and the millivolts being fed to it are substantially lower uh it's no longer the 1150 um and the, also the core clocks are now just lock solid at 2495 the reason they were bouncing earlier is because they were bouncing up the power limit that i set of 284 watts and again this card can do 293 on the amd reference card so um but also let's take a look at what it did to the temperatures so right before we did that we had floated up to 69c as well as 88c on the hot spot and 76 on the uh, memory and as the fans 
cool it down a little bit further and further um, with time here, uh, these are going to drop a couple more degrees. And so it's a tremendous um, benefit, you know, just being able to run a little cooler. Maybe you can run your fans a little bit less, um, but also, you know, keep these hot spots and the memory temperatures down. But let's see what it did to our performance here in Star Citizen. Let's see what kind of frames we're getting uh, on it. So before we were doing about 190 to 191 and a half. And so we're losing about one FPS and that's it. One FPS I think I can sacrifice in order to get, um, you know, less voltage being shoved into the core, uh, which is not necessarily necessary on this particular piece of silicon. It's a great piece of silicon. So, uh, so there you go. Just a quick and dirty how to undervolt the uh, 6900 XT or, you know, any other RDNA two card and RDNA one card. And, um, and so, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you out there. Take care.